Uh, how's everyone doing? Good? We're almost at lunch? Yeah, good. Okay, awesome. Um, I wanted to talk to uh, everyone about Prettier. And just raise your hands, who here has used Prettier so far? Okay, that's a good amount. Who here has never heard of Prettier? Raise your hand. Okay, we have some. And then who here has heard of it and is not using it? Okay, those are the most guilty people here. All right. Um, okay, so Prettier is a tool by Facebook, which is a reason that some people won't use it, which I think is silly. Because some of my favorite tools come from somewhere besides Angular, like TypeScript. It's easily one of my favorite tools. And so um, Facebook built Prettier, and um, I, 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 I've been on teams that have been huge. Who here's worked on a team of like one single page app of 10 people? Okay, a lot. Who's been on 20 people? 40 people? Sing one single page app, 100 people? Okay, we still have hands up. So that's crazy. Um, I've been on a team with, we had about 75 engineers on one team, on one single page app. And life was crazy. When we needed to sit down and um, it was time to say, hey, do we put spaces between the if statement and the, the curly brace um, on the if statement? Um, it was like, well, who cares? And some people were like, we're going to fail the build if there's not a space. I'm like, what? We're going to fail the build now. Like, why are we failing the build because of spacing issues? But um, they had real reasons why they thought that was a good idea. And I have real reasons why I think that's a horrible idea. But um, there's like lots of in, there's lots of issues that come when, when you have giant teams and everyone's coding differently. We use different IDEs which have different presets and, and some of them respect editor config, others don't. And... Um, so Prettier comes in to save the day on formatting our JavaScript and TypeScript for us. One second. OK. Um, so uh, let, let's talk about why. So it enforces an inconvention on your team. So if anyone makes a change in a file, if everyone's got Prettier installed, um, then everyone, when you commit, formats your code the same way. There's no, like, um, I went in and I changed the file and I undid my changes and there's still spacing issues. Like that goes away because Prettier takes care of all your formatting. Um, and you're handing off those decisions to the Prettier team. And when you think about our day, our life as engineers, we've handed off a lot of things to other teams. Um, we've handed off a lot of responsibilities to the Angular team, a lot of them to the Rx team, a lot of them to the TypeScript team. And Prettier, we're handing off one more responsibility to the Prettier team to make some of these decisions. And you're for lack of a better term, you're, you're kind of adopting community-wide um, practices for a lot of it. And um, you're letting go of some of that control over what code looks like, which at the end of the day, after using it for one day, I was totally happy with. And then you get less fighting, because like, anyone who wants to fail the build for silly issues, like a, a, something that's not going to create a bug, that's problematic for me, um, especially when you have a team of 70 people failing the build for any reason is a bad idea, because if you're in a continuous delivery scenario and one person adds a space and the build fails, like that backs you up for a whole day just to get a space removed. And um, so uh, you get less fighting over what rules will be on and what, which ones won't. Recently, Prettier has started making changes specific to Angular and Rx to make Angular um, coding with Angular and Prettier easier and coding with Rx and, and Prettier easier. And then, after, like I said, after using it for a day, um, you're going to wonder how you ever worked without it. It's really, really nice. So there's some useful links. Prettier's website is probably the, the easiest, the best place to go. There's also a blog post called The Ultimate Angular Prettier Cheat Sheet. And then a guy named Kevin, one of the Angular community in Denver, he took that blog post and he made an Angular schematic. And I'm going to show you that today. We're going to use it. Just so you can see how easy it is to get Angular or to get pretty into your Angular project. And then when I was preparing this talk, I wanted to show off just how easy it is. So I, I tweeted out, hey, who, who would like uh, prettier in your open source project? And um, tweet me your repo. So uh, someone replied, and they, re they replied with a repo NGX virtual scroll, which is a, it's a, it's a, it's a library I've used. Um, and I was racing to a meetup where I was going to talk about this. It took me about five minutes to get Prettier installed, to get all their files ran through Prettier, to commit it, and to make a pull request with the, Prettier, with the uh, Prettier-ified files. 
And then um, by the time I was presenting it, like 30 minutes later, he had accepted the PR and we were good to go. So it really is easy to get prettier in your project and to, and to begin using it. So today what we're going to do, I'm going to walk everyone through it. We, uh, we're going to create an Angular project. I have a, I, because I'm not going to do an NPM install on stage, I actually created it last week when I was getting ready. Uh, we're going to add prettier to it. I'm going to configure my IDE so you can see you know, just how easy it is to get going. And then I'm going to kind of show off some of the features in, in Prettier. So that's, that's what we're going to do today. OK. So this is um, just a simple Angular CLI project. And um, there's been no changes post creating of the project. So I'm going to go ahead and add Prettier to this project. So the first thing you need to do is you need to npm install globally um, the uh, Prettier schematic. So if you run this, it's going to go ahead and install the Prettier schematic, which is a schematic that understands how to install Prettier into Angular applications. So I've already ran this on this project. Um, or did I? I didn't, so let's run it. <laughs> We're going to... Oh, no, no, I've already installed, sorry. We're going we're gonna to actually execute this, this schematic. So once you've had it installed, then you can say ngg um, you can, so I'm going to execute this schematic. And so what this is going to do is it's going to get Prettier installed on this project. And God willing, the uh, internet is going to let us do this. And it's not going to be too awkward. Internet. Everyone close your laptops. Turn off your cell phones. <laughs> I might want you to share your house, but yeah. One sec. Okay, here we go. Come on, man. Get it installed already. So while that's installing, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open the Prettier config files. And I'll just start talking about some of the options you have with Prettier. Um, and hopefully by the time we're done, uh, the install on it is done. So this is all you get. Who here has like massive formatting stuff with ESLint and TSLint going on? We all do. Um, when you install Prettier, you're handing off all those decisions to the Prettier team except for these options right here. This is what you get. Um, so if you decide, hey, our tab width is four instead of two, like you, can, you can decide that. If you say, no, we always want single quotes, you can have that too. But um, a lot of the decisions about how things are formatted and, and when your line gets too long or too complex, when it starts to break onto the separate lines, a lot of that decision you're handing over to the team, to the, uh, to the prettier team. And so this is really all you get. Um, these, are, these are the only options. So your print width, your tab width, your use tabs. Um, you get some JSX stuff. There's, there's some, some stuff for some advanced users, like the, the range start and end, and, and Pragma, if you guys know what Pragma is for, for formatting tools. But this is all you get. So it's, it's, it's not hard to grok what the options are. It's, it's super, super easy. We're done. OK, so good. We're done. It installed. So once you've got it installed, um, it installs something so that no one can commit anymore without having your code prettier fight. So if you open up package.json, it installs, um, it gets husky in there, and it adds this, this lint staged pre-commit hook. So anytime someone's going to go ahead and, and do a, a commit, it's going to prettier those files. So if you have someone on your team who does not want to set up prettier on their IDE, or they have an IDE that doesn't support prettier, which I think that would be pretty rare, but um, they can still take advantage of Prettier because the, there's a Prettier pre-commit hook that comes with this, um, with this schematic. So everyone's files um, are going to be Prettier from this moment on. Any commit that they make will be formatted just like everyone else on the team's files. Like We don't have to worry about different formatting across the team. Um, another part of what it does when it installs this, besides the pre-commit hook, is it, it, it adds your options. And then it, goes, it does things like in the TS lint, um, one second. I'm actually going to show you a different view. In the TS lint, here's all the uh, 
Here's all the rules it's deleting. On the left, you can see everything that got deleted. So your, your comment formatting, that rule is gone because Prettier will take care of it. Your end of line stuff <clears throat> removed. Import spacing, there's no more decisions around that. Prettier takes care of it. Indenting, max line lengths. Um, it, so it, it deletes these rules because it doesn't want TSLint to sit there and highlight in red everything that Prettier's done just because your rules are out of sync. So it removes the rules, they're, they're going to conflict with Prettier, and it lets Prettier just take care of those, and it kind of lets TSLint off the hook. So these are all the rules that, um, that get deleted. So it's, it's deleting, you know, somewhere around 20 to 25% of your TSLint rules, um, which, which I think is great, because you're handing it over to them. Um, it adds a prettier ignore, and then um, obviously it updates your package JSON with the new prettier, with the husky, and um, the pre-stage, the lint stage uh, dependencies as well. So, all right, so we've got it installed now. Um, and the two main IDEs in here, I'm guessing, is, what, is VS Code, ever, who uses VS Code? So like a lot, WebStorm, do a lot of WebStorm. Okay, so I use WebStorm, so I'm gonna show you what it takes to get it installed on WebStorm. And VS Code is equally as easy. It, it, they're both very, very simple um, to get prettier installed with your, with your IDE. Now what, um, what you're getting on that install is, um, you can make it so that every time you make a, a save, like you command S to save your changes, it'll just prettier that file. So let me show you how you do this in WebStorm. It's, it's a little bit more advanced. So in WebStorm, you open up um, your preferences, and you go to File Watchers, and you create a new File Watcher, and I, I have created mine already, and I'm just gonna turn it on. And that's all it takes, okay? To create this File Watcher, the instructions are on Prettier's website, and there's just four or five settings that you kind of take Take the commands, put them into your new file watcher that you're going to create, and uh, and you're good to go. So um, they're not too advanced. Like it's just it's really just these fields right here. You're just setting these up, and and you're done. So um, now that I've turned my file watcher on, um, Prettier's now um, ready to go. Anytime I hit save, it's going to run that file watcher, and it's going to run and reprettier my code. So let's start messing around with it. So if we open up like Angular or app.module. Um, I'm just going to make one change, and we're going to see what happens. So we're just going to add a space down here, and then I'm going to hit save. So Prettier went ahead and applied its own styling when I did that. It didn't like things like, um, if I undo those, it didn't like having those on separate lines. It wasn't time to break those out onto separate lines yet. So it says, hey, let's go ahead and put them on one line. When I hit save again, it will reapply. Um, but if things start to get too long, it'll start to break them out for you, but it's decisions you don't have to make anymore, and you don't have to worry about two people doing it differently because everyone's now is gonna do it the same. Um, let's go ahead and, and add some code just so you can kind of see how it's gonna, it's gonna make some decisions. So we'll say heroes is equal to an array, and um, it put my four, remember I changed my end ending to four there. Um, and let's make a new hero, and so the hero will have a name, and who was our first speaker? It was. Uh, Matthias. So we've got Matthias in there. And who was our next one? Ratto. And then we had Todd. And it's still fine with it being on one line. And then we've got uh, Simona. And Simona broke the heroes, right? So it broke down on different lines with Simona. And, and so it kind of takes care of making these decisions for you. And, and all of us have um, like RX pipes that are who knows how long, and everyone on our team kind of decides where they're comfortable breaking on the next line. Well, with that, with Prettier, that kind of goes away. And Prettier takes care of deciding when something's too long, when it's too complex to put on one line anymore, and when it will start breaking onto separate lines. Um, so um, if, we, like, if we make changes with, um, if we go to our Prettier config and we change this back to false, so we decided we don't want single quotes anymore, Sorry. Um, we come in here and we make one more change. It switches everything back to like double quotes. So it takes care of this formatting in real time on save, which is pretty fantastic. Now, the one got you when you're picking up Prettier on a, on a project of any size, even something pretty small, you need to make a decision. Um, you have to decide, are we gonna format every file today and do one massive Prettier commit? Or are you going to install Prettier and as people commit over time, 
let those files that are new in that commit get prettier as, as people are committing. Um, and that's the decision you're gonna make. Um, it, 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 the prettier reformatting is kind of like, it's gonna dirty up the commit history. So I like to recommend people just do one big prettier commit when they turn it on. Because otherwise, for months and months, people are gonna be like changing one line in a file, but you know, 60% of the file looks like it's, it's been changed when really it's just formatting and, and spacing changing. So um, I, I recommend people kind of do a, a one big prettier push when they install. So I'm gonna go ahead and on this project, like if you look, we have five changed files. I'm gonna go ahead and run this on every, every project in the app. So, um, so if we just run, you know, prettier parser TypeScript and then we tell it to force write, any file that matches that pattern and we run this, it will go ahead, it will go through the whole entire project, it will prettier everything, and um, you can see here now we have 13 files changed, updated our tests, everything's got the right formatting, and now from here on out, from here on out, anyone who pulls this repo, does an npm install, and does a commit subsequent to today, is all gonna have the exact same formatting. So um, again, after using this for one day, I knew I was never gonna be able to code without it. Uh, it uh, other languages have this just built in, like automatic formatting, just, just built in. These decisions aren't like questions people have to have. JavaScript's been very open for, for many years, and, and uh, it was really nice to find a tool like this that kind of took care of some of these, these uh, decisions for me. But not just take care of the decisions, because WebStorm's taken care of the decision for me for a long time, but actually enforcing it across the team of, you know, as many engineers as we have, that's where the real power is. Um, it, it, it really, really cleans up your commits. So that's, that's how easy it is. It's not giant. It's super easy to install, and um, I recommend it to everybody. Let's go to the next slide. So if anyone has any questions about it, you can reach out to me however. There's my contact info. My slides are there if you want to show this off to your team. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much.